what's up what's up everybody it's your girl yada girl flavor and i'm back with the next recipe this is one of my son's favorite and we love making it here i have some corn i have some red onions i have some snow peas and some shredded carrots i have a few chicken breasts that i cut up into cubes i have some chow mein pan fried noodles and i have some toasted sesame oil also this is a mixture that i made with Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce and in that there is garlic ginger some sugar and some powdered season so here i am adding my chicken i'm gonna get that chicken cooked first in my wok and we're gonna stir fry it and Make sure it is cooked through before we start adding our other ingredients. So this is my son's favorite. He loves noodles. <laughs> he loves spaghetti and meatball. And as long as it's noodles, mac and cheese, he gonna eat it. <laughs> so this is definitely his favorite noodles. Every time we go to the farmer's market, we have to get this noodle because it is his favorite. So I'm just going to let my chicken cook in this oil and then we're going to get started in adding and layering that flavor to our noodles. see my chicken is cooked now it's time to start adding in that flavor so we're gonna go in with our veggies I did pour off some of the oil you can use the oil but leave the oil in there because I did still ended up adding it back in the end but I pour off the oil now I'm adding in my corn my purple onion my snow peas and my shredded carrot and we're gonna combine that well and get that mixed in before we add our noodles there's two ways to cook this noodles. You can boil it for 20 seconds, then remove it and add it to your pot. Or you can add it straight into the, the meat kind that you're cooking and stir fry it. So it's on the back and I choose to go with the last method as I'm pointing out right here. And also you have to keep it refrigerated because the first time we bought it, I didn't even know that I rested in the cupboard and by the time we were ready it was not good so every time I bite now I'm like okay I need to go in the fridge so here's my noodles and I'm gonna have to work that through and break it up but I'm putting in my mixture this mixture is soya sauce Worcestershire sauce minced garlic minced ginger sugar honey and a powder blend of ginger and garlic powder together so we're coming with that Asian flavor of the garlic and the ginger with the toasted sesame oil here I'm just adding some water maybe half cup or less so I'm gonna work through that noodles to get it break down so I can mix it all in with my veggies and chicken
toasted sesame oil you don't need a lot a little goes a long way so I'm adding that in maybe about a teaspoon or a little bit over and I'm work still working in that noodles as well to make sure it's fully breaking up in loose so all that sauce can get on every strand of the noodles and all the veggies and the chicken can combine well here I am pouring in a little bit more water and as I said I you didn't have to pour off the oil because I still ended up adding that oil back in as it started to stir fry and come by so I'm going in with some honey and I love to cook with honey <laughs> I just love cooking with honey okay so here I am still working through my noodles because I want all the flavors to combine and I want every strand of the noodles to be covered in sauce but if you boil your noodles first then you will not have to do that extra work of breaking down the noodles so here we are it's coming together And I've done both ways before. I've done this way where I just put it directly in the pot. And I've done the way where I've boiled it. But our pan stir fry chow mein noodles are all done. Look at that. So yummy. So delicious. And definitely flavorful. And my son is somebody that don't eat veggies. And when I make this, he doesn't even care to pick out the veggies. He be eating it straight too. That's how good it is is so here we have two bowls serving of that deliciousness it is so good and it is definitely filling look up that bite okay thank you guys for watching see you on the next one